Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Flores, I'm your math coach. So today I'm going to be reading this book. It is called Everyone Can Learn Math and it is by Alice Espinel. So let's read. Amy sits at her kitchen table with her fists clenched and her face overcome with distress. Her mom tells her again, Amy, take a deep breath and let's think about the problem one more time. You go to the store and buy three packages with eight candies in each. You want to share them equally among six people. How many candies should each person get? I don't know, Amy yells, holding back tears. She's been working on this math assignment for three nights and it's due tomorrow. Every night ends the same way. Amy bangs her notebook against the table and insists, as she does every time she tries her math questions, I can't do math. Everyone at school gets the answers faster than I do. When the teacher calls on me, I always have to use my fingers to get the answer. Amy's mom is frustrated. As a little girl, she had the same struggles with math as Amy. She's been trying to help Amy with this assignment to show her that math can be different for her. Amy, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get the answer. Work through it carefully and stick with the problem, she says desperately. I'll never get it. There's no point in trying. I'm just not a math person. Amy runs to her bedroom and slams her door shut. Later that evening, Amy is dancing at her ballet class. Mr. Stanley exclaims, Bravo, you have finally done an arabesque. Amy beams with pride. I've been practicing getting my legs straight for two weeks. Your persistence has paid off. I knew you could get it if you kept trying. Mr. Stanley pats her on the back. Amy can't help but think of her fight with her mom about her math assignment. The next day at recess, Amy is playing with her friend Jonathan. He hollers at her across the playground. Hey, watch this! Then he makes his way across the entire set of monkey bars, slowly and with a lot of struggle. He never stops. Finally, he pants. See that? I've been trying to make it across these bars every recess since the beginning of the school year. Wow, Amy exclaims. That's really hard on your arms. How did you do it? Your muscles grow, Amy. The harder you work them, the bigger they get and the more they can handle. I just keep trying so my muscles must be strong now. Amy thinks about her math assignment again. My brain is a muscle too, she thinks. Later that day in gym class, Amy's class is working on their free throws. She notices Miles is sinking every shot he takes and she says in amazement, you're so talented. Miles, I wish I was that good. Miles stops and looks at her with a puzzled face. Amy, he says, seriously, this is not talent. When I tried out for the basketball team this year, I didn't even make the cut, but I didn't let that stop me. I am determined to make the team next year. So I have been practicing my throws every night after school. Amy is baffled. Wait a second, you didn't make the team? And now you're making every basket? How is that possible? She asked quietly. Everyone is able to get better at something if they tr try really hard. Miles shrugs and winks as he sinks another basket. After lunch, Amy sits at her desk with her head bowed down and her shoulders slumped. Mrs. Garcia approaches her to collect the math assignment. Amy is embarrassed and tells her teacher, I didn't do the assignment. 
Why not? asked Miss Garcia with disappointment in her voice. I'm not good at math. Every time I tried the questions, I got stuck and then I got frustrated. So I just didn't do them. Amy whispered. Amy, are you going to find, I'm sorry. Amy, you're going to find that a lot of things in life are difficult and take a lot of work and practice. Does that mean you're going to quit every time? Her teacher questions. Suddenly, Amy realized that math is just like everything else in life. At first, she couldn't do an arabesque, but after practicing a lot, she was able to straighten her leg in the right way. Jonathan couldn't get across the monkey bars without falling, but after building his muscles, he can now make it across even though he struggles. Miles didn't even make the basketball team, but he was determined to get better. Now he can sink all his free throws. Amy asked Miss Garcia, could I please try the math assignment one more time and hand it in tomorrow? Miss Garcia smiles. Only if you promise to work through the problems when you get stuck. Try using a different method when you're frustrated. Instead of thinking of the candies as one large group, try working with the three groups you have in the beginning. Amy nods. She is thankful that her teacher believes in her even when she has given up on herself. After dinner, Amy sits at the kitchen table with her math assignment. One more time, her mom is shocked. Are you trying those questions again? Of course, mom. How will I ever get better at math if I don't keep working at it? My brain is a muscle, you know, and I need to make it grow. Amy beams from ear to ear. Now, if I buy three packages and need to split them among six people, I need to figure out how to make three groups turn into six groups. Maybe each person should get half a package. Great strategy, but how many candies are in half a package? Her mom asked slowly. Amy counts on her fingers carefully. If there are eight candies in a package, then half would be four. Each person gets four candies. Amy can't believe she did it. Miss Garcia was right. I just needed to think of the problem in a different way. Her mom sighs in relief and replies, you can learn math after all. Now that I've read everyone can learn math, I think everyone has had their own struggles. They have their own experience with math. Some, some are good and some are bad. So I want you to discuss with someone at home and talk about what you like or dislike about math. Or you could also tell them what you struggle with in math. Maybe there's some strategy that you would like to get better at and you would like to practice at home. And you might even ask your parents if there's something that they struggled with when they were in school, when they were doing math. You might be surprised that they might struggle with the same thing you did. But if we work hard and we don't give up and we try a different way to solve it, everyone can learn math. Bye.